Welcome to Ecosystem, which has just hit Steam Early Access. This is a science sandbox where you get to craft your own underwater paradise and see what disgusting creatures evolve. Predators, foragers and things that swim upside down. They're all here and waiting for you. Yeah, so thanks to Slug Disco Studios for giving me an early key to this. Uh, this game has been around for a couple of years in early demo form, but this is the first proper early access version. And this is a game for slow experimentation, so all I can do here is have a bit of a play and give you a tiny taste of what you can play with. So starting a new game, we get to choose our terrain. Let's just randomly choose strange terrain. And you can tweak this all you want. That's a bit rocky, let's randomise the settings. That looks sandy and grassy. Okay, that's not that strange, but it's very dark actually, so we'll have to watch out for that. Let's go over here where it's a bit lighter. We're starting with sand here. Yes, we are. We're sand and grass, um, so that might influence our thinking. Let's choose... We've got we've got five life points in the top left, uh, and this choice doesn't actually cost us anything. Um, sand and grass. Okay, big leaf hydrilia sounds like a good choice. Sword plant also. Um, it seems to prefer that's uh, our sort of terrain, so we'll choose that. Uh, let's go for java fern as well, just as a little random choice. Nice. Okay, so let's plant things wherever we want. Big Leaf Hydrilla. Um, so we can plant five things at the moment, and then hopefully things these will spawn new generations of creatures. Or plants, anyway. Already things are spreading. You can see the little blue flashes indicating they are proliferating all over the bloody shop, creating us a very nice little ecosystem already. Uh, let's see, we've got it's already generated us some life points now, so we can spend that on doing other things as well. So let's add a few more plants. The third type, the whatever the hell they were. And hang on, that's not it. That's it. Uh, Java Fern, plus three, plus six times outcropping. Ooh. Whatevs. Right, let's bung a few things. Let's go over here. Oh, here we go. We've got a new um, ecosystem area over here. And we can also choose some new plants. And Pondweed, maybe? Milfoil and Congo Fern. Nice, so we've got a bigger choice down here now. That Congo Fern. Let's, let's pop over here. Oh. We're now life points, so now we need to do some waiting. And we will need the health to go up if we're going to introduce um, fish, because at the moment it's a bit, well, it's a bit wait and see. So let's wait a little longer. Yeah, health's going up now. If I try to introduce this milfoil, though, um, it, it's not a good idea because you see the minus one for other plant species. So if I put, try to put it over here, it's not going to like that. So let's not do that. <laughs> go for the green numbers, not the red numbers. Uh, can't really do that over here because there's too many plants. Let's try over here for these, um, the Java ferns. Create our own little system over there. Maybe a few other things as well. So that'll help over there. So let's get some fish on the go. Uh, we have foragers, predators, and apex um, predator carnivore lads. So let's choose some foragers first. Uh, we've only got seven life points, so we've got to be careful. Let's bung in some randomly generated fish. I need one more life point before I can do this. <laughs> so we just need some of uh, the um, the health health to go up a little. Oh, here we go. Now we can do it. And we have generated new creatures! There they are. Right. So at the moment they're just miscellaneous lads. There's one. Woo! Flapping past. And yeah, you can see it's totally random and weird. It looks it looks like a <laughs> it looks like an organ at the moment. And soon they'll mature into actual species. They'll split up and all that. There's another one. The little green lad. Gabrielle! Species Rewa. Oh yeah, look, they've it looks like um, um, anything's, um, anything that's um, of any suitable population size is actually split out into actual proper names here. So we've got the Sarambas, lots of them, and we've also got the, a couple of these Rasseurs. You can see they've got them, their age is increasing. Uh, their survival and children numbers obviously need to be higher. They need to be green. If they go red, they're not going to survive. They're not going to pass on their genes to anyone, anything else. Look, that's about to die. Bye. So already it looks like the Sarambas are over here foraging away. And whereas if you look at the purple dots over here, these, these are the miscellaneous lads. There aren't there many of them. In fact, I can't find them. And there's some red lads, the, the Walushars. There's one. They don't seem to be having a great old time. So the green area on the minimap, this is where all the plant life is. So really they should be over here. I'm not quite sure why the Sarambas have buggered off over in this direction. It looks like they're all busy dying off. Oh, that one's, that one's doing okay. Hmm. It just feels like they've, they've flapped off and gone nowhere near any of the lovely, lovely plants that I took so much care about planting all over the bloody place. Alright. 
Feels like we could do with some more species. We've got 18 life points, so let's think about adding carnivores. Ideally, <laughs> hmm. Ideally, we're near some other fish. Right, here's what we'll do. We'll create a system over here. Oh my god, that's a fasty. Ooh! Let's start adding a few plants here and there. This is the curly leaf pondweed. Likes the grass, likes the sand, so it should create a decent ecosystem here. They're all busy foraging away. They love it. They love a bit of it. Yeah, this plant looks good. So everything interacts very, in very complicated ways that we'll never understand. Like, you can even check their DNA. I mean, this. That's just stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, these seem to have a great old time. Although, hang on, that one's dying. Nobody's wanting... Nobody's, oh, Sir Amber, you're having children, apparently. You're not. Seems like the green lads are doing much better. That's, the, that's that fasty again, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same species. It's really having a good old explorer at the moment. It looks like at least they're now near all the grass. Well, things are developing. I mean, the, uh, the, the locations of all the grass ha is actually changing constantly. We've got four, loads of life points now. Okay, so now we can introduce um, some horrible predators. Here we go. What I'll do, I think, is create some landscape. And so we, we'll want the predators to be able to, like, hide. We want some hidey holes. We'll, we'll, we'll just want some general sort of... Um, uh, texture to the environment, because it is a bit nothing at the moment. We should smooth this off a bit, because it is looking a bit lumpy. A bit artificial. But already, bloody hell, these plants are prolific! Look at it! Isn't it marvellous? So let's also add some of the sand. There we go. Oh, that's got a bit bulbous. The Congo fern prefers dark rock. Well, let's, let's make some red reef, because that's really obvious, a nice obvious colour, so we all know what's going on there. There's nowhere to put anything anymore, because everything's just been supremely colonised. Oh, hang on. Right, so we need... It's getting very, it's very dark over here. It's a bit hard to see what's going on. And let's go up in the air. Flatten this a little bit. I mean, that, was a bit, that got out of hand. And we'll put on those Congo ferns. I don't think they like to be too crowded, though, so we've got to be a bit careful. There. Now, with any luck, the, can do, uh, the predators can hide in there and leap out on things. Although, hang on, that's not really very... Hang on. We'll, we'll create a little... Create a bit of a tunnel. There we go, that's a smooth it out a bit. Well, that's not smoothing out, that's destroying. That's a nice little tunnel. Well, it looks like we've got quite a few new species that um, have been developing as well. I think this is of the... This might be dead. God damn it. This is a... This is a predator. It's just not very predatoring at the moment. It's just kind of a bit crap. Let's go back to the action over here, because this is... This seems to be where my, my, my favourite species, the Saramba, seem to be doing reasonably well. Yo, yo, look at you! You're having a great time. High survival chance, high chil very high children chance. These are very prolific lads. Also, this landscape over here, look at this. Oh, this is, about, this is what I just made. That's why it's so incredibly good. And you can also invent fish. Let's, let's invent a fish. I've, I've, got some, actually, I've got some ones I've already created. Let's introduce the big boy. It seems to um, enjoy being here. So let's see what, see what else. We've also got Flatty. Old Flatty. I think, I think this is another predator, so we've got to be careful. We may need more um, regular species. And we've got plenty of life points at the moment. Now, health of the ecosystem is currently 43, so that's not too bad. And we have species a go-go. And all the crap ones will, of course, die off. Flatty has, um, joined the, um, has joined the fight. You're very small at the moment. You're very small and you're very flat. Here you go. Oh yes, I didn't, what I didn't show you, what I didn't show you in that fish thing, is the process of actually creating is complicated and is very, very unisy, <laughs> very, um, whatever. And so you can choose all sorts of things, blah, 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 blah. They can choose, make it white. And we have a very different coloured fish indeed. Now let's randomise the shape. Oh my good god. So I've now un unlocked the ability to make starfish. Let's see what this does to things. It just kind of sits there, admittedly. And this only costs one life point to plonk down. 
Although I need to actually get away from the... Oh, God. Yeah, you need to, you need to keep the starfish a bit far apart. Otherwise, they're going to get a bit pissy. Oh, no, it's, a, it's plants. They don't like being near plants. Oh. Okay, plant there, then. Apparently, he likes plankton. Well, let's see what else we can unlock. This now costs 30 points. An orange starfish. Mushies. And also green tube sponge, which has all sorts of uh, requirements. Requirement of 30. Well, whatever. Let's... Let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, look. Mushrooms and tubers and all. Okay, let's go back to the middle, because I want to place... Here we go. Here's, here's our loop of dreams. Let's see if we can place some mushrooms in this sort of darkish area. Here we go. There's the mushrooms. So this has its own requirements. Oh, it just... Yeah. <laughs> it, it dropped to the floor. You can't put it upside down. So hopefully they'll enjoy the darkness, but they don't need... They don't need plants nearby, apparently. Uh, the starfish... Place one there. Could do with the, let's place one right on top here. Oh, Flatty has matured! Yeah, let's cover these. And finally, let's, um, let's improve things with these lovely things. Yeah, this is... Oh, no, nearby plant. We don't want... We don't want it to go all funny and yellow. Spending our life points. Well, we've got loads of life points at the moment. Meanwhile, we've got the... The Cataloach. The Cataloach is a predator. It's doing alright. The Cataloach is doing okay. We have plenty of species. We've got the Sarambas. They're still going strong. Let's have a look at you. You're, you're ugly as all hell. And we can interact with these creatures if we want. Like we can boost if we like the look of it. Hang on, that's number two. So if we, if we like their DNA, if we like their stats or whatever, we can really make it so that they definitely survive. Or we can kill you. Like that. For reasons. And I think you can also move things if things are going out of their region or whatever. Let's... Let's... Oh, there you are. Let's put you... I just need to... Oh, there we go. Dropped you there. For, you can do various things. That's not a zebrafish, is it? I, I, I never did get that other lad to spawn. Oh, hang on, wrong menu. No, this is this is invent. This is this came up on all on its own. It's a it's another forager. It's just a bit kind of um sideways. What about you, Coalesa? Oh yeah. You're like a mini shark. I like you. I think you're. Oh no, you're a forager. So, oh, you're eating the you're eating those um. Are you eating starfish? Yeah. That's not jolly and sporting, are you? You can actually follow things properly as well, which is nice. So yes, as things don't do well in our ecosystem, they will perish. This one, the Walucha, is technically doing okay. But there's only one of it. And now there's none. <laughs> We've got no room for stupid species. And the Irabel, a predator, is not doing great either. This is actually proving to be surprisingly healthy, this whole area. We have some definite winners, winner species. We've got these Sarambas, who these are the forager lads. We've got the Cataloques, who are the predators. Although you're not doing so well. But there's 30 of those, so we're balancing the Sarambas and the Cataloques quite nicely. We've also got these weirdos. That's just... Ooh, it's actually quite... It's weirdly beautiful, in a startling yard sort of way. They all look a bit different as well. They change different colours and whatever. Although these, that species is probably for the chop, to be fair. Also, the flatties are doing very well. These are my own invented species. It's very flat indeed, if you actually look at it from the front. It's also um, seems to be swimming on its side, but let's not worry about that. And the koa lasers as well. These are more foragers. What are the flatties? Are the flatties are foragers? Yeah. We've got a lot of foragers. Let's try... Okay, let's try to introduce an apex predator to... Which will eat the predators. Maybe... I mean, the cataloge pro, um, population does seem to be getting a bit big. It's 40... 42? Yeah, they're getting out of hand. Um, so there are also apex predators to add, uh, which feed on the predators, which, of course, feed on the uh, the, the foragers. Now, we can actually add... Now, um, 
And we've got, we've got loads of life points to spend. We can actually add the plankton. The seagrass, plankton, um, and a barrel sponge as well. And there were some, I think there were starfish, or some of those starfish, I'm not sure where they are anymore, they they do supposedly eat, well there's, there's, these, there's these starfish, but some of these starfish did seem to eat plankton, so I'm just going to introduce some um, fairly at random. Uh, I'm just going to do that. Here are. Under here as well. Under here, oh, there's actually a creature in there. What manner of a thing are you? You're a predator, yes. Thought as much. Although you're going to die by the looks of it. I think you're you're hiding out here amongst amongst the mushrooms and everything like that. Oh god, you got right up close up there. Oh yeah, this is the Wallowling. Um, it's very old. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, yes, it's, it can't find a mate at the moment because there's so few of the buggers. There's a couple of other things you can do as well with them. Like, you can create currents. Like, if I wanted to create a current that ran pointlessly through this archway, you can. Here we go. So yeah, this is all about experimentation and then waiting to see what happens as as time goes on. I say the catalogs and these and the catalogs have still established themselves as a nice forty species. Well, thirty nine. The cerambas aren't doing quite so well now, but they're surviving. They're possibly being eaten by the catalogs. Uh, the the wallowlings seem to be holding on for some god knows what reason. They they seem to be a very long lived species. Um, if they can just bang each other. Oh, it's, it's currently mating at the moment, apparently. Honestly, this isn't really a game you can just like dabble in for five minutes. You really need to have the patience to go, um, go long and see exactly what happens over time. The Wallowlings have just died off. Literally, that was the last one right there. Ah, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> yep, so this is out in Steam Early Access right now, so go get it if you like a bit of slow-paced scientific exploration and seeing things swim upside down hilariously. <laughs> Bye for now.